I'm Joe Chilio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, March 19th. The New York Yankees going through spring training here, getting some good news on Alex Rodriguez, getting some good news on Masahiro Tanaka, getting some good news on CC Sabathia. Veterans, they hope, can contribute in a very, very big way in this upcoming 2015 season, especially with Masahiro Tanaka. He needs to be the Yankees' best pitcher. On offense, the Yankees need Jacoby Ellsbury, last year's major free agent signing over $150 million, to be their catalyst, to be their best player. You look at the statistics from last year, he and Brett Gardner were 1A and 1 in terms of being the Yankees' best player. But you look forward here, I do not expect a you know another repeat performance of Brett Gardner in the power department. Ellsbury last year was as advertised for the Yankees. He's not one of the five or ten great players in baseball, but he's very, very good. He's very good defensively in center field. He is a great base stealer. He gets on base. The Yankees even asked him to play out of position in the lineup. He likes to be a leadoff hitter of the Yankees because of all the injuries they had last year forced him into the number three role, number three spot in the batting order, something he's not exactly comfortable with, but he did it, and he got some big hits, especially early in the season, to keep the Yankees afloat, keep them in the race. Bad news on Wednesday night, though, for the Yankees, as Ellsbury will be shut down for about a week with an oblique strain. Now, the Yankees are calling this mild. They're saying it's not a big deal. Mild, mild, mild is the word you keep hearing out of Tampa. And for the Yankees, they better hope it is, because considering all of the question marks They have on the 2015 roster, including Tanaka, Alex Rodriguez, Carlos Beltran, Mark Teixeira, Sabathia. You can go throughout the entire roster, basically, and look at question marks and really unpredictable performances from players who, yes, were once great, but now because of injury, attrition, age, are no longer great. You can't count on them to be great. Now, Tanaka doesn't have the age issue hanging over him, but he does have a slight tear in his elbow that despite looking good here in spring training, is, is always going to hover over him and the Yankees until either you know years from now we forget about it or that elbow eventually goes. Ellsbury is one of the few players on the Yankees roster that you shouldn't look at with a question mark. Yes, he's had injury issues before. Last year he was pretty durable, but in terms of his age, in terms of the, you know the trajectory of his career, he's still in his prime here. The Yankees paid him to be a major part of their team, to be their best player here for 2014, 15, 16, 17. They need him to be the best of Jacoby Ellsbury. And this oblique strain, obliques are very difficult for baseball players. I mean, everything you do in baseball with the swing is with the oblique. So sometimes you feel okay, you come back, and you re-injure it. Chris Davis, down with the Orioles last year in Baltimore, had a big season in 2013, over 50 home runs. Last year, injured his oblique in May. He was never the same. Had an awful season. Really, half of what he did the year before, he was able to accomplish because of of that oblique. And with the Yankees and Ellsbury, they have to hope here that this thing really is mild. Because for an old, brittle baseball team, you can make the case, the one guy they can't lose, the one constant they can't lose atop their lineup is Jacoby Ellsbury. You take him out of the lineup, the Yankees will really, really scuffle to score runs on a daily basis. And if you take him out of the outfield, yes, Brett Gardner is a tremendous safety blanket, almost a you know an Ellsbury light playing left field could easily slide over to center field and give the Yankees good defense there. But it weakens the rest of the outfield as the Yankees without Ellsbury will feature an outfield here in spring training of Gardner, Carlos Beltran, who last year couldn't even play the outfield for most of the time because of an elbow injury, and Jose Perella, who's fighting for your utility spot. That's not exactly you know the Yankee outfield you want it to be. The Yankees need Ellsbury here to be their best player this season. If he's not, or he goes through injury issues, along with all the rest of the injury issues they have, it's going to be a very, very difficult year in the Bronx. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.